crime is a community problem. And to address it properly requires screams for community solution. Employment is a significant challenge for released felons. Once you check that, that felon box on an application, it's, you're not gonna hear back. Your resume pretty much goes in the trash. <laughs> Our big idea is to equip guys on the inside to become their own business owner, create their own job. There is a challenge in helping people understand what the issue really is and what they have at stake in it. Here's the problem. There's 150,000 people in Texas prison. We spoke at a business event one time, a lady got up at the end and said, you know, help these guys because if a guy gets out of prison and can't get a job, he's got two choices, reoffend or hang themselves like my best friend did. And the gravity comes crashing down. The vast majority of crimes committed in Texas or in other states this year will be committed by felons who were released within the last three years. If we can change that equation, we are all better. It, we're all safer. Rehabilitation, at least down here, is largely an inside job. You do it for yourself or you don't do it at all. Baylor did a study a few years ago on nine programs uh, within Texas. Three of them actually increased recidivism. What's great about our program is we've hand chosen guys that want something better for themselves. They know that they're capable of bigger things. I came to PDP for the character assessment. It wasn't for the business. It's for change, changing myself. If I can't change, I'll never be the man my family deserves, you know, especially my son. I've been in prison three times. I've done nine years down here. And um, this time I was down, my dad passed away last November. And uh, before he passed away, I made a promise to him that I was gonna change for him and for myself. Without y'all, it wouldn't be possible. And I'm smiling for him because he's watching down on me right now and seeing me with you guys. Thank you. In prison, there are a lot of things that can demonstrate that you want to do better. And one of them is staying out of trouble. Another is going to school, going to college. They indicate something of your character. I think that what is most lacking in prisoners is self-esteem and self-confidence. Having somebody believe in them and pat them on the back and say, you can do this, it's kind of an aha moment. Like, I can do this. We teach at a college level, supplemented by graduate business school case studies. So it's very challenging. It's more difficult than anything the men have ever undertaken. At the end of that, we have a multi-round business plan competition where the guys give a 10-minute pitch to a group of sharks, and then we select a winner. We help guys connect the dots and become more than they were when they came in. Most of the people I meet with are very skeptical in the beginning. They, you can just see it on their face and they're kind of like, uh, oh, men's prison. There are a lot of people out there that think, well good, they deserve to rot in there. I used to be one of those people. I never thought that I would be an inmate. The first event I went to just blew me away. Once they, they get in there, experience the program, meet the guys, they don't stop coming. These guys 
and the staff, because we're all, most of us are convicted felons as well. We're just like you, we're human beings. And once you get to know them, your mindset, if you, if you still have the opposite viewpoint, will change. My name is Ben Cardenas. Uh, my pitch was over Benzo Customs. I'm a custom painter, airbrush artist, and stripe artist. Being able to pitch this today was, had my adrenaline going. I was the first one to go, so all the, the rush was on me. My name is John Duggan. My business pitch was about a framing company. And what PEP has done for me, it's rekindled that fire that I used to have when I was younger. They really prepare you for this public speaking, but it's still the hardest thing we do on a daily basis. I've been incarcerated over 19 years and uh, being able to come from where I've come from and, and the things that I've been through and, but yeah, overall it went really, really well. We graduate in approximately a month right now. In 100 days after that, I should be released. So I'm really looking forward to it after all these years and being able to really do what I love to do. We have a ready-made answer for almost everything right here. Whereas somebody getting out of prison that doesn't have the PP network gets $50 in a bus ticket and no help whatsoever. And how is that man supposed to make it? If you can show people that connect and that relationship from the inside to the out, then that's when you have real accountability, real transformation. That's what's gonna keep other people wanting to do the right thing. And for the most part, doing the right thing. I, I've been in prison, you know, before. You know I'm saying this time. So my second time coming out, it, it was it was different. Cause first time I got out, I didn't have anybody. This time, you know, when I got out, I was getting picked up by a brother who I've been locked up with, and so we was able to see the change, you know, what I mean, within each other. As long as I, I, I'm improving myself and I want to be different, I'm I'm not by myself. Without him, I would be. <laughs> the program is a vehicle, it's a facilitator, a builder of a new community, but it's for these men, and they're the ones who are doing the work, starting on the inside and continuing on the outside. The only thing for us to do is to do it more, you know, you know gather more resources and do more work. It just shows if you invest a little bit of time and and love and effort into somebody, they're capable of limitless things. I think that's, that's what sets us apart.